Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here again with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be going over some kinetic motion graphics. We're going to be doing a uh, real baseline so you guys get a good idea of it. We're just going to be having a ball drop down onto a line. The line uh, kind of bends down and has the ball bounce back up. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to make a new composition, 1080p. I'm only going to make it a second long. And then we're going to make a new solid layer black works fine we're gonna go over here to our ellipse masking tool if it's not there make sure you click and hold with the left click and then select the ellipse tool so to make our ball we're just gonna go over here to the middle click and drag while holding control and shift to get a uniform circle that expands from the center uh that looks about a good size and then next we're gonna go up to layer and make a new shape layer and then here we're gonna create a straight line Get it as straight as it can be. Perfect. And if you notice, I clicked and dragged a little bit just so I could get the handles to come up. And you'll see why that's important a little later on. Don't worry about the handles and making any curves right now. Just try to get the line straight. That looks about good. And then now if you go to the shape layer, hit the drop down arrow, contents, shape. You're gonna turn off the fill, so hit the eyeball. And then you're gonna click the drop down on the stroke change it to uh, whatever color you want we're going to change it to black so we can see it here and I'm going to change the stroke width to about 20 you can change it to whatever you need it to be however thick you want that line perfect so now we're going to go ahead and do the bouncing ball animation so we're going to select our black solid hit P on our keyboard to bring it to that position and we're going to scroll back on the Y coordinate to bring it up keyframe it by hitting the stopwatch go to about half a second in Bring it down past the line. It doesn't have to go completely past, just a little bit. And then we're gonna go to the end and bring it back up to the top. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and easy ease those in. So while you're on the position for that layer, hit this button up here, that's the graph editor. And we're just gonna click and drag to select all of these keyframes. And then you're gonna hit the third button from the right down here and that's gonna easy ease everything. Since we want it to start falling fast, slow down when it hits the line, and then uh, bounce up fast, we're going to make these first two keyframes quick. So we're going to click and drag them and bring them up. We do the same for the end here, and we're just going to give that a little RAM preview to see how it looks. There we go, it looks pretty decent. Alright, so we're going to hop out of Graph Editor, and we're going to go onto our line layer. You're gonna go back into content shape and then you're going to go into path this time and you're gonna scrub through until the ball uh, makes contact with the line so about right here I'm gonna set a keyframe on the path by hitting the stopwatch I'm gonna to go to the lowest point of the ball and we're going to make another keyframe so to do this we're gonna go ahead and grab our pen tool again and we're going to excuse me we're gonna edit the path here a little bit so like I said, these handles right here, if you didn't see what I, or if you don't know what I did, I hit shift and then clicked on the first point with the pen tool to bring up the editor. So we're gonna use the handles to give it a bend in the middle. So we want the line to get pushed down to the bottom of the ball. So it looks like the ball is, you know, has some weight on it, it's pushing the line down. a little bit more maybe this is something you just got to play around with all right that looks about right and so when we easy ease this in it'll, it'll look a lot better and then now we're gonna go back to it should be about the same amount away and you're gonna copy and paste the first keyframe from the path onto the end all right so now just like we did with the first keyframes we're gonna easy ease them in so you're gonna hit the graph editor and you're going to highlight all of them, hit the easy ease button, and we're going to make it fast at the start, and then slower at the end. So now if we scrub through it, we can see maybe it starts a little too fast, so let's slow that down a bit. Okay. And then let's slow down the end just a tad bit as well. Alright, there you go. Now you got a nice little ball bouncing on a trampoline almost. 
So if we ran preview this, you can now see that the line is working kinetically with the ball if you want to call it that. This is something that, you know, like I said, you got to play around with sometimes to get it to look how you want it to. But this is just a good general idea of what it would look like. Well, anyway, guys, if you have any comments, suggestions, critiques on, you know, different ways you could do it, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Leave a like if you want to see more After Effects tutorials. And I've been Soren, and I'm out. Thank you.